well, this drill really worked for that guy, and I don't understand why. Then when I have another problem with another guy with the same drill doesn't work for, and I don't understand the actual theory behind it, I'm not going to be able to be creative to solve the new problem. So understanding theory or understanding that even at the at the very least that everyone has a theory, uh, everyone has a reason for the, the what why they do what they do is like a really is a really important thing to just recognize as a, a practitioner, as a coach, as a player. Like there's a reason why you ask the players to do what they do because you're trying to help them out, obviously. But thinking critically about how you came to those thoughts, how you came to those drills, how you came to those, those theories is important because then from there you can reflect, you can improve. I think that's super key. Essentially trying to see the coach as a game or practice designer rather than a solution giver is, is probably what like the next level of coaching really is. 100%. And then, and I think it's about taking that and then getting tons of reps doing it. Cause it's just like, I can't tell you how often, like, and, and I've seen numerous examples of it online of like people who from prominent facilities or coaches where oh, we're using constraint or we've tried constraint drills. Well, if that's how you're using that term, you clearly don't understand it, right? If you think a constraint drill is like a type of drill, lack the foundational understanding of what it even is. Oh, like a bucket you just go to for some. Yeah, it's like okay, now let's maybe let's 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 try some constraint drills. Like, all right, let's try a hail mary here. Let's try a wheel route. It's just not a different play in the playbook. The governing principle of gravity and oxygen. It's evervescent. It's always there. Yeah. You, know what? you can't just opt into and opt out of it. It's just there. And once you realize that it's just there, you work with that. And it's just like gravity isn't just uh, let's uh, let's try gravity today. <laughs> it's there all the time and you, once you acknowledge it's there you can use it to your advantage or not whatever it may be but it's just there and then you have to just work around it there's no opting in and out of it and because <laughs> there's so many instances of like coaches expressing one thing about how they want to do things and then you watch them as a practitioner whether it's on online videos and how did you just like what, what like what you just said and what you just did are just two completely different things aligning aligning thoughts and actions and like getting people to actually get reps doing it because because like, i can't tell you how many years i've been reading listening to podcasts of people saying you need to be a facilitator of environments and xyz and well you see it in practice and we're just not there yet there's a step we're missing in terms of like our collective voice being like hey we're progressive pitching people we love the constraints led approach and i love constraints